A few things you may encounter as you go through this. You'll get confused, you'll get frustrated, and you'll probably want to give up. Don't. We all go through these stages. I promise you, you can do this. You don't need to be a genius, but at the end, you'll feel like one. So, where do we start? The cube. Six sides, six colours. The colours are white and yellow, blue and green, and red and orange. This is important because they each have opposites. The white is always opposite to yellow. The blue and green are opposite, and so is the red and orange. To know which side is a certain colour is easy. Look at the centrepiece. This is how you know what colour the side is. So if we mess it up, this will be the white side. Its opposite will be the yellow, and the same with the blue and green, and the red and the orange. The centrepiece is the colour of that side. The pieces. We already know what the centrepiece is. This is a corner piece. It has three colours and will always be a corner piece. There's eight of these bad boys. Now, we have the edge pieces. They have two colours. They are called edge pieces as they are always on the edge of two sides. The moves. You can move the sides like this. Right side, left side, top side, bottom side, and the face side. Now the face is the side that is facing you. If we turn the cube round, this is now the face. Each move is a quarter turn. So if I say right up, move the right side up once. Simple enough? The top and the face move clockwise and anti-clockwise. They are easy to see, that's fine. The left and right sides are referred to up and down. It makes it easy to see right up, right down, left up left down. The bottom side will move right to left or left to right, but I'll tell you when and what way to turn when we get there. We only use that for one of the steps. The only other side we move is the back side. At the beginning of each step, I'll show you where we're trying to get to. I'll tell you how to position the cube, for example, white side on top. Then I'll tell you which side you'll be moving. Sometimes it will be two sides we're moving, sometimes more you'll get the hang of it. It doesn't matter how we mess up the cube. There's so many different combinations when it's messed up, so we never look at it to find out which is the quickest way of doing it. We just follow the simple steps to be able to complete it. We always follow the same eight steps, so it never matters where we start from. Good to go? Let's get started.